Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is messages from our future self. A little bit of a prediction read. What does our future selves want us to know? What do we have going on in the near future? Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. All right, pile one. We're I'm gonna I'm even though this is chevron, I'm I'm gonna call it white because the background's mostly white. All right, so this is white. This is solid. Okay, pile two is solid, and pile three dark blue. I don't know what to call that pattern. I'm gonna call it dark blue. So white solid dark blue this way we can differentiate from the blues all right so pick the pile you are most drawn to and uh, you know we'll see what your future self wants you to know all right pile one you chose the white let's see what month what month september so a decent am amount of time away what is that like nine months nine months it nine months from now so yeah all right that's okay let's see what they want to want you to know what's going to happen nine months from now oh, seven of swords five of wands page of swords nine of swords ten of pentacles huh It looks like to me you're finding out somebody's lying to you. Or you might be afraid somebody's lying to you. Because Five of Wands is conflict, but it's not deadly conflict. It's not something that can hurt you. They're fighting with sticks, not with swords, right? They're they're learning how to fight. They're you know they're using um, the sticks as technique they're not actually fighting with seer swords where they can actually get hurt so it, it's about learning technique learning about something page of swords is also learning so here's what I'm getting I I actually do think that you are thinking someone might be lying to you or cheating on you. But that might be all in your head. You know, uh, you got Ten of Pentacles down here on the end. That's my favorite card in the deck. That's complete happiness. So it could be something that you misconstrued in your own mind. You got all worried in your own head. Or, or it, you're, you could be 100% correct and someone is lying and or cheating or stealing from you. But it's not going to matter. I mean, it, of course it's going to matter, but it's the outcome is that you have something really great to replace what you may be losing, depending on the circumstance. I just really like that the Ten of Pentacles is there after these cards that are not so great. So that's telling me that you're going to be okay. Everything's going to end up working out for the best. But it might not feel like that at first because that Nine of Swords is a lot of sleepless nights. That's a lot of worry over something. So... You're going to be okay. All right, so let's get some more cards. Maybe we'll figure out the story a little bit more as we go. But I just want you to know that everything's going to end up good. So if there is 
something coming up that you're really stressed over, I want you to just remember that there's going to be something really great to replace whatever this is. All right, so let's see. We got throne, position of authority, and ring, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. So this could be, this could be a, a business partnership that ends. If that resonates with you, this could very well be that, where, um, you know, maybe you find out your business partner has not been on the up and up. And, uh, you know, you decide to part ways and you go, you, you go out on your own and you're going to end up making a lot more money if you, if that is the case. Now I know that can't be everybody's story. Not everybody is in business for themselves with a partner, right? Um, but again, everything's going to end up working out for you. So I don't want you to stress too much. I mean, it's hard to say not to stress it when, when I can feel the anxiety from this card. Competition. It does kind of feel like a business thing. What you have to understand is that there really is no such thing as competition. I mean, in our minds there are, but there's more than enough to go around. You just have to realize that you might have to use different strategies but there's there's no no such thing as competition people will resonate with you who are who are meant to and people won't well they'll resonate with someone else if they are they're meant to you know that's why i don't get upset when you know people make nasty comments on on this channel you know the other day someone said you're not very good <laughs> Or something along those lines and I just laughed you know my response was well I hope you find a reader that you resonate with because you know there are so many readers out there they have the pick of the litter you can choose anyone you don't have to listen to me you listen to me because you resonate with what I say or you like my personality or you know something like that but you know and if you don't you don't it's okay it's okay I'm not everybody's cup of tea I know that you know, I don't read like everybody else. I do things a lot differently than the readers that I actually watch. Um, you know, it's, but this is just how my messages come to me. So this is how I have to do it. It's, it works, works for me. And if you resonate with it, then I'm so happy that you're here. But if you don't, it's okay. So I, don't worry about competition. I think that's what you're going to learn, that there is no such thing as competition and that you can be great on your own. You can shine, you know, all by yourself. You don't need anybody to boost you up. You don't need anybody to hold your hand, that you're going to be just fine doing what you need to do. But again, I don't think that this is going to be for everybody's situation. It could be a different situation for you um, where you're finding out, you know, something's not great, but it's going to end up really, really well. And you're going to end up getting the closure that you need. So that card actually reminds me, I mean, it makes me think that this is something that could have already happened. This is something that you know, you could have been in a relationship where they cheated you. You know, they cheated on you. They stole from you. They lied to you. And you didn't know how you were going to survive. You were struggling with, with, you know, conflicted emotions. Do I stay with someone like that? Do I let them go? But now, like, by September, maybe things are going to start turning around in your favor and you're going to have the closure you need and then you're going to start seeing the success. Maybe someone new comes along and you actually get a ring. So whatever the situation is, you take it how it resonates with your story. If you believe, if you're like 
if you're if the messages are like resonating if you can kind of feel like yeah this is this could be something that happened to me or that will happen i'm going to be okay so don't stress out i know it, that's easy for me to say i stress out over everything shine your light archangel uriel thank you uriel for helping me share my light with the world so by handling things the best way you possibly can you're going to end up shining your light and being the star of your story so you're going to get the closure you need and you're going to shine with abundance things are going to work out really really well for you all right don't stress yourself out get some rest if you need downtime if you need to recharge if you need to just like stop and think about things i want you to know it's okay to do that we all get to that point in life where sometimes we just need to not do anything we need to just not do anything i i'm, I'm telling you i had almost a whole year where I basically couldn't do anything. I didn't work. I didn't get off my couch. <laughs> I didn't have this channel. I just, I, 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 you know, I was alone. I wasn't in a relationship, but I was just, I don't know. I like, I, I to this day, I can't explain it. That's not me. I'm a go-getter. You know, I don't, I, I'm always active and I just couldn't explain it. And every day I would get up, you know, I, it didn't really feel like depression but maybe it was a form of depression um, I wasn't sad I just couldn't get myself to make any kind of moves it was the weirdest experience of my life but maybe my body mind and spirit just needed that time to heal from all the trauma that I've gone through so if your body needs rest get some don't be afraid to take it think about things meditate and contemplate it's you know take the time to think about the future and your next moves and what you want what's going to make you happy but a rebirth is assured so again you're going to be like reborn you're going to have this like second chance this this new life coming in and it's going to be a rebirth of sorts where you're going to have all this abundance and happiness and joy and you're going to shine so again when things aren't going great try to remember that try to remember things are going to turn around this energy is going to change and things are going to be amazing and I think if you stay in a positive mindset that'll actually speed it up but it said assured like it's going to happen there's no doubt like it's not a, an if the energy could change it's saying that it's assured I always think energy can change but I really do believe that you're going to have an amazing experience experiences amazing life major amazing chapter in your life coming in after a tough one eight of fire yeah again when it comes in it's going to come in quickly it's going to take you like maybe by surprise or or you're going to be like wow like my life's amazing how did this happen how did i go from that to this you know eight of, eight of fire is also a communications card so there might be like a lot of communication with people or you know just a busy a busy time a busy happy abundant time coming in so i just want you to know if you are going through a rough time right now or you do come into a rough time in the near future just know but by next september the energy is going to change and you are going to be so abundant so 
Hang in there. All right, I'm going to pull you a few charms. What do I have? A pleasant surprise. An ending. Okay. But you're going to have friends. You're going to have friends either that support you or you might make new friends. You're going to have some love in your life. That's the biggest heart in my charm bag. That's a lot of love. That's big love there. Got the good life. A lot of abundance. The good life is coming in. Look, a new chapter. That's the world. That's a chapter ending and a new one beginning. A rebirth. A change. We got the bat. A change for the good. You got the, the sea turtle. You're a warrior. You can make it through the tough times if there's a tough time. Don't worry. Just keep going. Um, you know, when whenever I get a reading like this, I think of that song. Um, like, when the going gets tough, just keep going because... You know, or if you're going through hell, just keep going because the devil might not even notice that you're there if you just keep going, right? So just keep pushing forward, you know, keep on trucking. You're going to be all right. You got, you got uh, an angel. You got, a, you got the dragonfly there. You got an angel on your shoulder here looking out for you. Someone that you know who has crossed is really up there guiding you or at least trying to show you a lot of support all right so no don't sweat it you're going to be okay just remember just take it day by day and put one step in front of the other and then you're going to have such a beautiful reward such a beautiful life life is coming in for you all right, pile one, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. All right, my solid blue color, pile two. If this is the flower you chose, this is your pile. Let's see what you got. July. All right, so... Six, about six months, a little less, five months. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Chariot, Six of Pentacles, Hermit. All right. So it does look like something's coming to an end for you in July or maybe before July. But it looks like there's an ending here. And that's kind of got you a little stressed out. A little worried about what the future looks like. But I want you to know that it's a fear of your own making. That this Ten of Swords, this ending was meant for you. Why? Because look at that chariot. The chariot is leaving something behind. It's going, it's a victory though. It's going towards something that's a victory. It's a success. So you're successfully leaving something behind. Now, it does kind of feel like a relationship that you might be walking away from, that you might be scared to do so, but you're going to do it. Um, I just want you to know you're going to be okay. Six of Pentacles tells me you are going towards something that's more in alignment with you, more in balance. Um, Six, of, Six of Pentacles, that equal give and take card, right? So... It's also the charitable card. You know, somebody could be very, being very charitable with you. So success is coming your way, or you, maybe you're leaving something behind so that you can go towards your success. But it is going to, you know, you are going to be thinking about things. You might be pulling back your energy a little bit, like really kind of making sure that you're making the right decision. But there is something that's going to come to an end. All right, but I don't, I, I feel like it's meant to end. So don't fight it, let it go. Always follow your own intuition and your own heart and you want to act upon your highest excitement. But I really do feel like there's a major success coming in for you. It almost feels like you're choosing to like 
move far away? Like, why would you leave the only home you knew or the only, you know, um, place where, you know, your family and your friends are? Why would you leave that to go somewhere else? Well, you're going towards your victory, your success. And it might, you know, make you all overthink things, but you're doing it and you're going to be successful for doing it. Someone is leaving your life. Well, it could be a relationship that is ending. That's got you stressed out. And it might leave you feel like something is lacking in your life. All right. But I want you to know that after your, your time alone, after your time of recharging and, and um, healing, you're going to be just fine. Highest good. Something is happening for your highest good. So the, the ending is what needs to happen for you to pursue your dreams. You have clarity on this. Like you're going to know that the ending is happening for your highest good. You're going to understand that. It still might hurt. It still might make you scared and nervous. It still might sting a little, but you know that it is for your highest good. You're going to know. And you're going to handle it with grace because you're a peaceful warrior. <laughs> Help me, help me be peaceful. <laughs> um, so that's just a reminder not to overreact, not to get angry and bitter to, if you have to end things or if somebody's ending things with you, to kind of handle it with as much grace as you possibly can because the grace that you show others will be the grace that comes back to you in another situation. So make sure that you act with kindness whenever you can, because it does come back to you. Grief work. Yeah, so it looks like they're gonna be walking away from you. I, I, you know, that's, Roles can still be reversed in that, but it kind of feels like they're walking away from you, which is going to cause you to do a lot of grief work, which is going to cause you to pull back your energy, to go inside, to kind of heal, to kind of figure out what makes you happy in life. But luck is on your side. Things are going to turn around. Luck is on your side. I'm telling you, it's happening for your highest good. It means it's going to be replaced with something much better. It'll be time for you to sing your own song. So, it, again, it's time for you to be on your own for a little bit. Two of Pentacles, Two of Earth. All right, let's, let's read what the message is um, for in this deck. My effort brings me joy. Play and work are not separate because what I am doing is actually fun. If conditions change, I can switch gears easily. I am fully present in the excitement of my creativity and I'm eager to experience the surprises that occur when seeds I have planted take root, sprout, and develop in unexpected ways. This is a time for flexibility and trust in how the universe will shape what is coming into being. One way or another, my dreams manifest in this material world. So it could be you walking away from a job. You know, this, this message is all about material things. So yeah, it is pentacles, which does make sense, but I always read to two of pentacles as like a decision or juggling having a lot on your plate but this is about you know finding balance between work and play and if you enjoy what you do for work then it's kind of like work and play that it is not you know it's all in one so 
it kind of feels like you might be leaving a job to go towards something that's a job that's more fun. And that might be scary because, you know, you might have to take a page cut or something like that. But uh, everything's going to end up working out. Come July, you might be uh, putting an end to something and going towards something that's more suited for you, for your highest good. All right, let's uh, pull some charms and see. It could be a relationship, but it also could be like work that you're saying goodbye to. You got to just being you. So that means you don't have to change who you are. You are amazing just who you are, just being yourself. So you don't have to change. Uh, I found it. I found a brand new Uno card, the old Uno card, the old Uno card, which is all beat up, came out, and I found the new one. <laughs> On the new one so i'm going to put the new one out i'm going to put this back in my bag i'm not putting this in my bag because i don't want it to end up looking like this but anyway you got the uno card so for me the uno card is about you know going solo doing things on your own being you know solitary for a while so this is something that you might have to do for you 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 know you might not you might not be able to take someone else's feelings into consideration because this is something that you need to do for you. So do what you got to do. Be courageous. Be brave. Put that crown on your head. Stand tall. Right? See the bigger picture too. You might be making a move. But your angels are here. And it's a new chapter in your and your life it's a new chapter in your book oh you got new life yeah it's a new you're starting something new you do have more angels here you have a locket a heart with a lock so i don't know you could be locking up your heart walking away from somebody i don't know what is this last one? Oh, it's a fox so I, I think that's just confirmation that the move you're making is clever. It's it's because it's meant for you. It's a smart move. It's a clever move. So anyway, pile two. You got some change coming in. That's what I got for you, though. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the dark blue, this one's your reading. Let's get your month. April. So April's not too far away. What is it? Uh, one, two, three, four months away? Four and a half? So pretty close. Page of Pentacles the world the wheel eight of pentacles queen of swords hmm. well we definitely have something new starting for you a new cycle starting it looks like it's a new start in work uh with these pentacles here you might be getting an offer to a position that you weren't expecting um and you're going to take some time to think about it, but you're getting that you're you're realizing that um, it's a good move for you. Luck's on your side here, so it kind of feels like you might be getting an offer or an opportunity to change jobs or to level up in your job. That's what it feels like. So let's. Um, If you don't have a job, you might be offered an opportunity to make a little money. 
Like maybe somebody asks you to house sit and they'll pay you to do it or to dog sit or something like that. Like I feel like there might be an opportunity to make some money. And you might think about it, but you're like, yeah, you know what? That, that's a smart move. I could, I could use some extra cash in my pocket. So I don't know. It, that's what it just feels like. You got family matters and something important such as a new job or raise. So maybe it comes at the perfect time. Maybe it comes when you need some money because maybe there's a family issue that you need to contribute to. You know, maybe uh, the family, you know, needs to buy a refrigerator <laughs> or something. So this comes at an opportunity to, uh, opportune time where you're like, all right, maybe it is time for me to get a job to, you know, have some extra cash in my pocket. But I definitely feel like this is about money for some reason an offering. So I think that if you put it out there that you're looking for an opportunity to make some money, it might there might there will be an offer come in for you. So don't be afraid to share um you know that you're looking or you know at least put it out there, put your resume online or whatever you got to do to find a job. Because I feel like it will, one will be presented to you and it will help you achieve something that you that you want or that you need. Now, the dreams card, I, I kind of feel like the spirit's going to be speaking to you through through your dreams, like say, letting you know, like there's an offer coming or there's something coming in or go do this because you I don't know, like I. Pay attention to your dreams. I think that, you know, if you, I don't know how much I believe in the dream interpretation book, but if you set your intentions to say, you know, let me dream something and let it be in this book so I understand it, then I do believe in it because then I feel like um, spirits, you know, intentionally giving you a message. So pay attention to your dreams. I really do think they mean something, even if you're just Googling. Like if you had a cat in your dream, just Google, what does it mean when I dream of a cat? And, you know, I, I think you'll get a message. I really do. I think they're, they're going to communicate with you. Peace and harmony. Thank you, Ragel, for surrounding my life in harmonious light. So it just means that, you know, life is going to be okay. This is nothing to stress over, that that this is happening and you're at peace with it. Like, it's like you've got the knowledge that th this is going to benefit me if I do this, if I make this move or I take this job or I, you know, take this opportunity. You, you're going to make peace with it. Like, you're okay with it. Now you got new exercise program. You know, maybe you're going to start getting your yourself healthier. Um, that's always a good thing. But, you know, it's a new program. It's something new coming in. I, I really can't be too specific because, you know, not everybody wants a new exercise program. So I, I, I take that more as, like, there's definitely something new coming in. Show the world the real you. Maybe you are losing weight and you're really going to show off and you're going to, you know, show off who you are and be amazing. Spirit has your back. So whatever is going on is happening for you, not to you. And, uh, you know, Spirit's guiding you and not going to let you fall. The hermit. Yeah, I think the hermit's about, like, in this case, well, I'm going to read from the book, but I, I, I really feel it's like you're thinking about things, like, like more, you're taking things a little bit more seriously. You're, like, really starting to think about things more. I, I don't know what in particular, but something. Sometimes it's necessary to take time out for regrouping and introspection. 
This is a temporary experience, but one necessary for my growth. When I step back, retreat, regroup, and renew, I have a clear perspective of everything in my life. That's exactly what I was trying to say, that last sentence. I have a clear perspective on everything in my life. That's the clarity. That's what I think is coming in. And I think you're at peace with what it is. Like, I th really do think that, um, you know, after a time of maybe pulling back your energy, you're going to come out of your shell and something's going to be presented to you in some way that's going to benefit your life. And I think spirit's going to be helping you along. I think you're going to feel a strong spiritual presence with you. So again, if the only way they can communicate with you is through your dreams, pay attention to those dreams. All right? Keep a journal by your bed, even if it's just a notebook and jot, you know, a few things down. Like when you're half asleep, you don't want to sit there and write a novel. But jot a few things down so it'll help you remember your dream and then you can look it up. All right, let me pull you a few charms. All right, what do I have here? Clarity, again. So you're really getting getting perspective here. But you're going to be happy. Like, there's happiness here. A change for the better. Again, your angels are here loving you, supporting you, protecting you. You're being protected with that thimble. And then you got the, the whale, which is something big, something magnanimous, um, something huge, something, you know, really good, really good, really great. So, uh, yeah, I would say come come this spring, there's going to be some kind of an offer, an opportunity uh, that I really think that you should seriously consider. All right, Pile 3, that's what I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.